Hi guys, welcome. <laughs> Have any of you guys noticed that everyone in New York is pulling up, but nobody has a car? <laughs> right? I don't have a car, so I take um, the train, also known as the MTA. I just like want to talk about the MTA's mental illness more, you know? We can collectively diagnose the MTA. What do you guys say? Yeah. They think they're getting better because they keep raising the prices. MTA maybe is a narcissist. Yeah. Emotionally unavailable, a man in New York City. Oh, sorry. Ah! trust these hoes though you know what I'm saying like and these hoes are the MTA <laughs> the MTA is very delusional that they have their own time zone they want to have a day off you know the city doesn't sleep the MTA doesn't sleep but it kind of does take naps I don't know <laughs> but, like the MTA is like oh I want to be a little sexy you know what I'm saying like the MTA is like I want to I want to do some role play so I'm gonna have the E yeah the E's gonna run on the <laughs> F line <laughs> Because the train is indeed having an identity crisis. Yeah. When the MTA's love is good, yes. it's so good. <laughs> the local train decides to run express, and I'm like, yes! Hallelujah! You can't see them. They're above you, but below you, but you're in it, but you're underground. The MTA is like the holy trinity. You know what? The MTA cannot be diagnosed because the MTA is like God. It works in mysterious ways. Thank you.